Hello everyone, this is Larry with Electric Notions with this edition of our stories, beginning of the newspaper ad. 57% of adults read a daily newspaper in the United States and 67% read the Sunday paper. Newspapers get the biggest share of advertising revenue in this country. Almost 22% of all ad dollars go to these newspapers. Over 85% of the money spent by local advertising firms. There are over 1,600 daily papers in the United States with a circulation approaching 58 million. There are over 7,000 weekly papers with a circulation of over 50 million. The first continuously published newspaper in America was the Boston Newsletter. The first issue was distributed by John Campbell on April 24, 1704 and continues to this day. The first newspaper advertisement was an announcement selling real estate on Oyster Bay, Long Island on May 8, 1704 and read verbatim. At Oyster Bay on Long Island in the province of New York, there is a very good fulling mill to be let or sold as also a plantation having on it a large new brick house and another good house, buy it for a kitchen and workhouse with a barn, stable, etc., a young orchard, and 20 acres clear land. The mill is to be let with or without the plantation. Inquire of Mr. William Bradford Printer in New York and no further. Twenty-five years later, 1729, the first advertisement appeared in the Boston Newsletter. Benjamin Franklin began publishing the Pennsylvania Gazette and included new advertisements. This form of advertising carries on to this day. With $250 in 1877, Francis Wayland Air opens N.W. Air and Sons, named after his father, in Philadelphia and implements the first commission system based on open contracts. His clients included Montgomery Ward, John Wanamaker Department Stores, Singer Sewing Machines, and Pond's Beauty Cream. In 1882, Procter & Gamble Company begins advertising ivory soap with an unprecedented budget of $11,000. In 1898, N.W. Ayer helps National Biscuit Company launch, launch the first prepackaged biscuit, Unita, with the slogan newspaper advertising's very first slogan, Lest you forget, we say it yet, you need a biscuit. Eventually, the company launches the first million-dollar advertising campaign for Unita. From the 1900s until present day, companies have relied on newspaper marketing to sell their products. Names such as Campbell Soup, Kellogg's, Pepsi-Cola, and Coca-Cola all have maintained advertising in newspapers for over a hundred years. The advent of the newspaper ads made it easier for a consumer to see what was available to them usually at a discount or sale price, and how much that person was asking for them. A picture some, sometimes accompanied the information. Real estate was popular at the start of advertising as landowners were trying to reach farmers looking for land so they could sell it to them. The ads were geared toward the man of the house and that it was used to persuade the consumer to want the product that the seller was offering. With such a rich and long history of advertising in newspapers, there's a proven track record of customers responding to these advertisements in a positive way. As long as newspapers are in print, there will be advertisements in them. Newspapers depend on advertisers to produce space and help the newspaper curb costs and distribution. Newspapers and advertisers work hand in hand to get the news out to the customers. Okay. As an added bonus, what I want to do is I want to throw in the history of internet advertising um, so you can see the difference of um, what's going on. All right, so 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invents the World Wide Web while working at CERN, an European Particle Physics Laboratory. October 1994, Hotwired launches with ads from AT&T, Sprint, MCI, Volvo, and others. And Time Warner launches Pathfinder with test ads from AT&T. 
We go all the way to January 1995. Prodigy is the first commercial online service to offer internet access to its subscribers. And the same month, Vibe Online cuts deals with MCI, Saturn, Timex, Jim Beam, and Airwalk for dollar amounts ranging from $20,000 to $60,000. February 1995. ESPN aggressively pitches advertisers on 1 million charter sponsorships of the future website and additional online properties. Also in February 95, CBS website is launched. March 1995, Yahoo, a popular web directory, transforms into a commercial business. Also that same month, Modern Media is awarded the AT&T account for interactive media. Also, March 1995, Ragu is identified as the first packaged goods marketer to establish a presence on the web. April 1995, AT&T and Saturn takes banner ads on Pathfinder at the cost of $30,000 per quarter. June 1995, WebConnect introduced the catalogers at the Summer Catalog Conference in Chicago. Over 60 businesses Consumers in high-tech market categories from a base of over 500 members are offered. July 1995, Netscape and InfoSeek alter their pricing model to accommodate costs per thousand impressions. August 1995, MSN online service is launched by Microsoft. Also in August 1995, Procter & Gamble and Kraft register a combined 184 domain names to secure the brand names in cyberspace. Also, WebConnect places banner ads for Encyclopedia Britannica. September 1995, in excess of 24 million adults in the U.S. and Canada have access to the Internet. January 1996, Microsoft allocates and pays $200,000 for sponsorships of the Super Bowl website. January 1996 also happens to be the New York Times make it, makes its entry into cyberspace with ads from Toyota and Chemical Bank. April 1996, Juno launches a free ad-supported email service. This is shortly followed by a similar service from Freemark Communications. Also, April 1996, the Wall Street Journal makes its entry into cyberspace. June 1996, WebConnect creates and offers accurate measurement tools to advertisers. Private URLs created to track impressions and click-through rates. New ad management technologies support animated GIFs. Banner Rotation, and CGI Pearl Scripting. July 1996, an ad campaign featuring animated banners is launched by AT&T. August 1996, Microsoft says its aggressive plan will position them as the largest web advertiser. August 1966, also the delivery of free content to users of Microsoft's web browser is agreed upon by major cities. September 1996, GM expands its content to over 38,000 pages, making it one of the largest sites to market products. November 1996, on sale, the Internet Auction House for Refurbished Personal Computers announces recorded monthly sales of $4 million. Hotmail Core announces that the registrations for its services has passed $2 million mark. March 1998, Yahoo makes a minimum advertising commitment to Netscape of $25 million over two years. April 1998, Microsoft Corp. announces its plans to purchase Web TV Networks Incorporated for $425 million. There you have it, folks. That is the beginning of the Internet advertisement. All right, I want to thank you for joining us at Electric Notions. Again, this is Larry. Our stories, the beginning of newspaper advertising, and also as a bonus, the beginning of internet advertising. Thank you.